beautiful. So let's come stand in front of our mat for our sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. So if you're wearing socks, take them off. And I'll just tie my hair. This is all we start flying everywhere. And we don't want that. Okay, stand in front of the mat. Feet together, feet strong. Shoulder back and down, palm by your side. So we're gonna do some Surya Namaskar. A, inhale. Exhale, relax. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. We start slow, right leg back. Drop the knee, look in front, lift the head. Yeah, just feel that nice hip. And come into plank. Straight arm, straight spine. And lower to eight points. And come to cobra. And down and up. And bring the right leg in front, let's knee down. And look. And come into folding. Standing forward bend. And take the arms up, inhale, lift. Stretch. Maybe arch the spine, maybe just stay here. And arm by your side. Good. Let's do it again, slow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Left leg back, knee down. Lift the head. Look at the ceiling, whatever place you are. Just stretch and come into straight arm plank. Drop the knee, come to eight points. Come to Cobra. Come to Down Dock and stretch. Bring your left leg in front and drop the right knee. Look up. Come to forward bend. Lifting the arms up, perhaps going a little back. And arm by your side. Just add the breath to this. So we can really feel the breath and the body. Okay? Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Right leg back, inhale. Hold your breath, come into plank. Lower, eight point, exhale. Inhale, cobra, look up. Exhale, down dog, stretch. Right leg front, inhale. Left leg front, exhale. Arms up, inhale. Arms down, exhale. Left side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Left leg back, inhale. Right leg back, hold the breath. Exhale, lower eight points. Inhale, cobra, lift the head. Exhale, down dog and stretch. Left leg front, inhale. Right leg front, exhale. Arms up, inhale. Maybe arch the spine. Arms down, exhale. Second round, inhale, exhale, let all the inhale up. Exhale, forward bend. Right leg back, inhale. Come into plank, hold the breath. Exhale, lower eight points. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog and stretch the body. Right leg in front, inhale. Left leg in front, exhale. Arms up, reach. Arch the spine, all the way up. 
and exhale, arms down, left side. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Left leg down, inhale. Hold the breath, plane. Lower eight point, exhale. Inhale, cobra, lift the head. Exhale, down dog, stretch. Left leg front, inhale. Right leg front, exhale. Arms up, inhale. Arm by your side, exhale. We're gonna come to a nice vinyasa now with the standing poses, warrior. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Walk your leg back into plank. Lower, Shataranga, or lower down. Either knee down or knee up, and come to up dog. Or cobra. Come to down dog and stretch. Right leg in front, warrior one. Arms up, inhale. And exhale, come all the way down. Lower, Shataranga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog and stretch. Left leg, front warrior one, arms up, inhale. Exhale, arms down, lowering. And inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. Press for three breaths. Two. One. And look between your hands, swap or hop, flat back. And come to forward bend. Inhale, arms up, reach. Exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, lift again, all the way up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back, and walk or push back to plank. Lower it. Inhale, lifting for up dog and cobra. Exhale, down dog, and stretch. Right leg in front, warrior two. Arms by your side. Looking at your right arm. Inhale, exhale, come down to your plank and lower. Inhale, up, exhale, down, down. Left leg in front, warrior two, arm by your side. Look at your left arm, inhaling here. Exhale, plank and lower. Inhale, up, exhale, down, dog. Rest for three breaths. Two more. Last one. Look between your hands. Walk or hop, flat back. Come to forward bend. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, arm by your side. Inhale, lift again. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, flat back. Push back to plank, lowering. Inhale, lifting all the way up. Exhale, all the way down, dog. Right leg, coming front, reverse warrior. Left arm to the side, right arm up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, coming down to your plank. Lowering. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, dog, and stretch. Left leg in front, coming to reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, come into plank. Lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. And stay three breaths. Feeling the energy moving. Feeling the heat. Two more. Last inhale. Look between your hands. Walk or hop. Flat back. Come to forward bend. Inhale, arms up. Reach. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, flat back. Push back to plank, lowering. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog, stretch. Right leg in front. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, coming to your plank. 
Inhale up. Exhale down dog and stretch. Left leg in front, warrior one. Arms up, inhale. Arm by your side, warrior two, exhale. Reverse warrior, inhale. Coming to plank lower. Inhale up. Exhale down dog, rest for three breaths. Two more. Last one. Lifting the right leg all the way up nicely. And then bend the knee, look under your right arm. You can stay here if this is good for you. For those who are flipping, bringing the right leg down, lifting the right arm up and hold. Four. Three, two, one. Come back to your down dog, dropping the right leg down and stretch. Do whatever you can. Lift your left leg up, <clears throat> all the way up. Again, bend. You can stay here. It's a great hip opener. And if you feel like you want to flip and come into a nice three like a dog. Four, three, two, one. Turn, flip back to Down Dog, dropping the left leg down. Staying into Down Facing Dog, stretch. And we're going to come into a nice plank with the straight arm, straight spine, lifting the right leg up, just the right leg up. Nicely. And you're gonna bring just the right leg in front in your chest. Your spine is not moving. Just the knee, come to the front and go back for eight. Inhale when you go back, exhale when you come in front. Spine doesn't move. Four more. Three, two, one. Drop the right leg, lift your left. Again, <clears throat> center the spine, arm strong. Inhale, exhale to the chest. Give me four more. Three, two, one. Drop the knee and stretch the arm. Fingertips down, elbows, wrists are up. And sit on your heels to stretch the upper body. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Now that you rest your arm, come in your forearm and turn into the right side. We're doing a right side plank. So option right knee down, left leg straight. This is an easy one. If you want to challenge yourself, lift both legs up. So you can have one leg in front, one back, both legs up, hip up. Right, left arm behind your head. That's it, you can stay here, this is great. And if you want to add a little bit challenge, you're gonna drop the hip and lift for eight. You can do that. If you want to stay in one position, you can do that too. Four more. Three, two, one. Now you can stay here or you can bring the left leg in front. And again, you're working still on that waistline. So we're gonna lift again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg back, center, holding your forearm plank. Hold it here, hold, four, Three, two, one. Come to child pose to relax. Again, fingertip down, arm straight, and stretch the spine. One more breath, just resetting everything. And now turn the other side, the left side. Left forearm plank, giving a little break to your wrist. Again, option, you can have left knee down, just the right leg up, or you can have both legs up straight. 
and the right hand hold the hip just to relax elbows under the shoulder and again you stay here or you can just lift the lower for eight six five four three two one now you can stay here or you bring the right leg in front and do the same thing eight seven six that is your waistline that is your oblique so let's just make them strong muscles to make you rotate turn and give you that beautiful small waist line two one and come back this time turn on your back nicely since we are here and relax we're gonna do leg rising and work a little bit more on that lower back and core activate your pelvic floor if you're not sure make sure you put your hand by your hip and you feel your lower back touching your mat right leg up inhale right leg down exhale left leg up inhale left leg down exhale one more each side right lower left lift lower right legs come up hold anywhere you can reach except the knee inhale here exhale lift head and shoulder and bring that knee close to your chest looking down to your navel and stretch toes down heels to the ceiling engaging your lower core looking down three three two one and drop the head keep the leg up have happy baby hold the foot from the inside bring the knee close to your ribs keep that knee dropping to the side stretching half of your hip breathe three two one and take the right leg up inhale right leg down exhale feel it feel much softer left leg up hold anywhere you can reach inhale hip exhale lift head and shoulder chin to the chest or close facing your chest or looking at your navel keep your shoulder away from your ears and stretch both legs are straight breathe three more breath two last one beautiful drop the head down nicely half happy baby hold from the inside knee to the rib cage and push it down half hip stretch two more breath last one beautiful bring the left leg up inhale exhale lower double leg rising you can put your hands under your hip or lower back to protect it make sure your back is flat and inhale lift both legs up exhale both legs down engage that pelvic floor keep breathing inhale exhale down inhale up exhale lower don't touch the floor inhale up exhale lower keep that core engaged four more inhale up exhale lower inhale up exhale lower two more inhale up exhale lower last one come up inhale open your leg v-shape hold anywhere from the inside stretch heel to the ceiling toes facing the floor and legs are straight lower back is down stretching both sides of your inner thigh and your head two more breaths last one coming to happy baby hold both feet from the inside and pushing both knees tower your ribs a little more lower back flat and stretch two more breaths 
last one. And lift the leg all the way up, inhale. And exhale all the way down the leg. We're gonna come into a shoulder stand. Before we do the shoulder stand, I want you to put your hands behind your hip. Legs strong, arms by your side. Try to take the leg over the head first before you lift your legs up. Inhale, lift the leg over the head. Exhale, lower. We do four more like that, just warming up the body. Lift over the head, inhale, like you were coming into plow, but with the arms down. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, exhale, lower. This time, last one, inhale, lift, and take your hands. This is the time you can take your hands, put whatever on your shoulder, or the back, holding, adjusting, making sure, make it comfortable. Bring the knees close to your third eye or your forehead. And just make sure you're okay. And then lift. Hold here. You should feel it in your throat, chin to the chest. It's amazing posture. Sending blood to your heart, to your throat, to your thyroid. Relaxing the legs, the hip. Just feel the throat. Chin is touching to your chest. Three more breaths. Two. And last one. Take a deep inhale, lower your right leg down. Relax. Again, inhale, left leg down. Put both legs down now. You can keep holding on your back if you feel more comfortable. Or if your toes are touching the floor, you can take your hands away. Hold here, halasana. Two more breath. Beautiful stretch for the entire body. One more. Now release the spine. Vertebra by vertebra, really slow. No rushing, keeping your head down, shoulder down. And as you're coming down, you bend the knee, you're coming into bridge. Hold on your back with your hands, lift the hip up. Stay here. Lower the hip down. If it's in your practice to hold on your ankles and to bridge, go ahead, hold on your ankles and then lift the hip up. Or do any other variation. Three. Two. One. Drop the hip down. You can do the same thing or you can come to wheel pose. Hands where the shoulders, top of head down. When you're ready, you can lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Whatever variation you're doing, relax. Straight your legs, arm by your side. And move your head side to side to relax the neck. And rest. We're gonna to come to Bajyasana. Hands under the hip. Straight legs. It's a counter pose for Shirvarkasana. Now, lift, look at your toes. Come on your elbows. Really, the weight should be on your elbows. Lift, the higher you lift, the easier you can drop the crown of the head back on the floor. 
weight should be on your elbows only. Then you can feel the throat stretching your thyroid, your chest is opening, your shoulders is back. Hold here for a few breaths. Deep inhalations. Three more breaths. Two. Last one. And slowly slide the head down. Release your arms. And rest for a moment. To recover. Resting. Two more breaths. Feeling your energy. One more. and take the arms over your head. Just give your body a nice stretch. Turn to the side and push yourself up for a spinal twist. So we're gonna sit, sit on the right hip and bring the left leg on top. And you take the left arm down and the right arm come all the way to the front. And you can find your stretch today, spinal twist. Release, go to the other side, counter pose for three, two, one. Change knee now. Left knee down, right leg on top, and coming holding the left knee and stretch. On the other side, counter pose for three, two, one. Bring the knees together. Option, balancing pose. You can do crow pose, or you can do tree pose, or you can do Vata Hastasana. Anyway, if you want to do a crow pose, you're coming into opening the knee. Maybe you want to practice one leg each time and see if you can do it today. Come on your toes and Put a nice Hindu squat first. You're kind of stretching the hip, and you know, this is a beautiful way of starting your uh, balancing. You're balancing on your toes and you slightly lift it from the floor. So, crow is the second one that you lift from the floor after Shataranga, arm balancing. So, let's see if we can do this today. So, you lift up and you put your knees right on under your shoulder bit or your arm, whatever feels comfortable for you, lifting the hips slightly, engaging your core and coming slightly forward. And you can lift one leg each time if both legs are hot. So you can lift the right and go back, lift the left leg and go back. And you're looking in front, you're not looking at your knees and just see can just do one leg today. And back. And again, left. Try not to have any expectation and relax. Just relax a little bit before you do this again. Let's try it again, this time. Again, put it and see if you can hold just a little bit more. Come forward. You can lift single leg. And if you feel like you can lift the other one too, go ahead and do that. Holding, or you can practice whatever way it feels good for you today. Holding the crow, single leg or both. One more, come back, and let's relax the wrist. This is kind of a little pressure on our wrist, right? Relax, let's do a little bit balance here. It's just a little bit balance. Balancing are good for your emotions mental. So try to relax first and see if you can do this. Come into half lotus 
and bringing the, or you can just do the tree pose. I'm just showing you options here. You can do tree pose like that, lifting the arms up, or you can come all the way down and see if you can just stay here with half lotus and see you are on your toes. See if you can balance like, like that. If you can balance. Here. Yeah. Two. One. And then come all the way. If you are down, come all the way up. And if you are your arms up, bring them down. Drop the leg. Good. Let's do the other leg. So we're going to bring half lotus, left leg, or just tree pose. Hands in your chest, stabilize first. And then you can lift your arms up for tree. And for those who wants to do a little bit more, then you come down, balancing on your toes. And you hold me. It takes a little bit of time. Hold. 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 Beautiful. And then slowly come all the way up with you down. And if you have your arms up, bring them down, bring the leg down. Very good. And let's do final one. Inhale, arms up. Stretch, stretch. Open your legs wider than your hip. Push the hip forward. Take your hands behind your back and look up. Let's give the spine a nice stretch. In case if you rounded too much today, open, open, open the chest and relax. Come in front of your mat. Arm straight, palm facing down, stand on your toes, inhale, and exhale, lower all the way down. And we're coming slowly, lowering all the way on your back to relax. So make sure you're comfortable in your final pose, Shavasana. If you need to cover yourself, go ahead and cover yourself. And please repeat after me mentally inside you. I'm relaxing my toes, my heels, my ankles. My toes, my heels, and ankles are relaxed. Relaxed. I'm relaxing my knees, thighs, and hips. My knees, thighs, and hips are relaxed. Relaxed. I'm relaxing my belly, my lower back, middle and upper. My belly and entire spine are all relaxed. Relaxed. I'm relaxing my chest and heart. My chest and heart are relaxed. Relaxed. I'm relaxing my neck, shoulders, arms, wrists and fingers. My neck, shoulders, arms, wrists and fingers are all relaxed, relaxed. I'm relaxing the back of my head, the side of my head, the top of my head, my ears, my whole head and ears are relaxed, relaxed. I'm relaxing my third eye, my eyeball, my nose, my lips, my tongue and jaw, my entire face is relaxed, relaxed. My entire body, heart and mind are all relaxed.
Bring your legs together. Take your arms over your head. Inhale, stretch deeply. Stretch, stretch. And exhale, turn to any side that you're comfortable. And then come all the way up. Sit comfortably. And let's see if we can just close the eyes. And feel our physical body more centered, more relaxed. See if you can look into your third eye. Perhaps you can see a bright sunshine. Your soft, smooth, steady. You feel beneath your mat, the Mother Earth. You feel the air and the space around you. You're feeling taller, lighter, maybe more calm, maybe happier. Maybe more focus. Relaxing the jaw, the tongue. Let's bring the hands in prayer. Place in our center and chest, heart center, the spiritual heart. Let's bow to our heart. Bow to this beautiful energy. Be grateful for our body that's moving. Grateful for our breath that we're breathing. Grateful for who we are and the purpose we are here on this universe we're serving. We are so important. Let's just bow to this energy, this beautiful presence, and may this energy be always with you, guide you through your hard time and your day and night. Namaste.